I've got a 48 inch rear handle and closed track spear gun in my hot little hands. This is how they're sometimes sent out. I'll take off the, uh, the handle. We will remove the bands, remove the shooting uh, line and the muzzle bungee uh, from the gun. And it just makes it much more streamlined and easier to pack that way. Um, and it's less likely to get damaged in shipping. So we'll spend a few minutes and I'll show you all how to assemble it real quick. And it shouldn't take longer than about five minutes. So stay tuned. First thing I like to do is put the uh, handle back on. Now, you need a long handle 3 16 inch Allen wrench to do this. That's what size this bolt is. We can include them in the kit or like I've got a red handled T1. It just makes it, I use these things all the time so it makes life a little easier. So I simply put it, put the bolt on there, get it inside, feel around, look, there we go. So it's through and then we'll set it onto the handle and usually what I'll do is I'll, sw I'll spin it in the opposite direction. So instead of going righty tighty, we'll go lefty loosey because what I want to feel is the thread drop. And as soon as I feel it drop, I know that I've hit the very first thread. So now I can begin to, to turn it. It should thread properly. So we'll just run that down. And then all I do is once, once it gets to the point where it's snug, we'll just give it a little bit of extra. Um, you don't want to over torque it. You just, you just want it snug. There's a little split washer in there. You just want that washer to flatten out and it'll hold just fine. So handle's good and tight. It's not going to move. So that's step one. Step two, we're going to put the bands in. So you can see that we've got a slot in the front of the gun here. And we're just going to take the band we're going to pull it through on the wishbone. And then from the side, what we're going to do is I'm going to pull, I'm going to place both hands on the side here and just pull. And it's going to come through. Go ahead and flip it over. And we'll do exactly the same thing again. To make it just a little bit easier, you can add, a, you can spray it with a little bit of water or, um, you know, get it, get it wet and it'll slide right in there. Don't use something like soap. Soap's actually something that will dry out the rubber. So I always avoid soap wherever possible. All right, so the bands are in. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to secure the bungee. So this is super simple. You're gonna lay the bungee on the, on the gun like so. You're gonna push it up. And now we're just gonna hold on to the loop and we're gonna pass this guy through, through the loop. We'll bring it right back over here and now I'm just gonna snug it. So there it is, it's on there. Now I wanna make sure this is open and it is. So now we can deal with the spear. So usually I use a tie wrap or something to secure the band or the uh, shooting line. So we'll just go ahead and toss that aside. Now you can see how the bands are laying on the top of the gun. We want to put the shaft into the track and it's going to go underneath the bands. Just like that. So this is underneath the bands. We're just going to push this back. And all we're going to do is we're just going to gently push it once it seats. We're going to push it and it'll click into place. So if for some reason it's not, say that the safety is engaged, it won't, you cannot push it back in there all the way. So we'll push the safety back out of the way. Now watch the trigger. You'll actually see the trigger move. See how that happened? If the trigger can't move, it can't engage the sear on the uh, shaft. So, all right, so our shooting line, once again, is underneath of our bands, like we wanted. So we're gonna run it into our line groove. We're gonna flip the gun over. We're gonna come down, wrap it around. 
Now at this point, I usually go ahead and put the line into the muzzle bungee and close close our snap. So pick it back up. You can see that I've still got the line around there. So we'll bring it down. We're going to go around the line anchor, back down. And what I'm going to do, if I can show you this side, I'm going to pull on this part of the line, because watch, I've got stretch. So we come back over here, I'm pulling on the side with the bungee. Get the gun here where you can see it. So I'm pulling on the side with the bungee to give me enough to drop on there. And voila. All right, our gun is now ready to shoot. So we can go take it out and go get us a nice fish dinner. If you like the channel and uh, you find the information valuable at, at least a little bit, please give us a like, give us a subscribe. Uh, every little bit helps. And the more people that subscribe, the more people will wind up seeing this over time. So it uh, it'll help help out your fellow Spiros. So, y'all take care, dive safe.